Welcome to week 6 of the Kid and Parent Pregnancy Show. You're blissfully counting the days of your pregnancy. In this show, we will talk about how to calculate the date of delivery, what causes morning sickness and how to prevent it. We will also explore some pregnancy-related facts and myths. Changes taking place in mother. There are no visible changes in you so far which others can notice. But you are undergoing a lot of physiological changes. Your vagina appears bluish in color because the blood supply in this area has increased. You may also have darker areolae and may feel some mild abdominal cramping. You may also see an increase in a white vaginal discharge during this time. This is referred to as leukorrhea and is normal during pregnancy. How is baby doing? Baby's heart is developing into the four-chambered structure we are familiar with in adults. This change will be completed during week 7 and 10. Umbilical cord, arm and leg buds are visible. A primitive brain can also be seen now. The beginning of the face as well as eyes and ears can be seen. Dark spots are formed around the eyes which will turn into nostrils later on. Spinal cord development is also going on. Did you know? Your baby is about the size of a plum at this point. Calculating date of delivery you're dreaming about holding your baby as soon as your pregnancy is confirmed. You want to know the date when she will be in your arms. The due date is calculated based on the first day of your last period. A normal pregnancy usually lasts for about 40 weeks. Since ovulation time is different for each woman, the calculated due date is only an estimated date of delivery. You can use the kid and parent due date calculator to know when you should plan your baby's homecoming. Tip of the week Discuss with your doctor a suitable exercise plan for you. This will help you maintain a healthy pregnancy, thus a healthy baby. Morning Sickness Morning sickness is the most common concern during pregnancy. It usually occurs during the first trimester of pregnancy. Although it is called morning sickness, this can occur at any time of the day. It comes as bouts of nausea with or without vomiting. Morning sickness and other symptoms are healthy signs of pregnancy. In case you find yourself getting dehydrated or not able to retain any food, contact your doctor. Cause of morning sickness Increase in levels of the HCG and other hormones during pregnancy. Increased sense of smell during pregnancy can make you sensitive to certain food smells. Rapid decline in blood sugar levels. Nausea triggering hormones such as serotonin and estrogen. Iron content in the vitamin supplement. Tips to prevent chronic sickness Eat a number of smaller meals. This helps you maintain a steady blood sugar level. This eating pattern also ensures that you are neither too hungry nor too full. Do not allow your stomach to remain hungry for long periods of time. If a particular food triggers morning sickness, avoid it. Keep some salted food near your bed and bite into them before you get off your bed. Carbohydrates rich and bland food can ease the nauseating feeling. Avoid spicy food that can cause indigestion. Get out of bed slowly. Include a lot of yogurt in your diet. Take rest whenever you feel tired and keep a pillow under your head. Reduce the intake of caffeine. Avoid sudden movements that can cause you to bring up food. 
Do not brush your teeth immediately after a meal as this may induce vomiting. Licking or smelling a lemon may help to control nausea. You may also consider drinking mint tea. If the iron in your vitamin supplement seem to trigger morning sickness, request your doctor to change the supplements. Drink a lot of liquids to avoid dehydration. Frequently Asked Questions I have not been able to eat well due to the morning sickness in my first trimester. Will it affect the health of my baby? Morning sickness can make eating difficult. Do not worry that you're not eating the way you wish to. The needs of the fetus are small right now. Consume fresh juices, soups and fluid as much as you can. You should consult your doctor if you're not able to keep any food down. Facts and myths related to pregnancy Pregnancy is a wonderful time in your life when you attract great adulation. Info bites come from all quarters of life. We have all heard lots of tales regarding pregnancy. You get a huge load of information but are really not sure what is a fact and what is a myth. Let us try to explore some facts and common myths related to pregnancy. Facts regarding pregnancy Eating just about 300 calories extra each day is enough for you and your baby. Organic foods are the best to keep you and your baby healthy. Avoid or reduce caffeine products such as coffee, cola and chocolate. Avoid raw eggs and seafood, fish with mercury content, unwashed vegetables, unpasteurized milk, etc. as they may contain bacteria which can harm your baby. Do not eat junk food as it contains very few nutrients. Common myths regarding pregnancy Double your food intake once you're pregnant. Size of your belly or glow on your face indicates the gender of the baby. You should not climb stairs in the first trimester. Vomiting is more if the fetus has a lot of hairs. You should not travel in even months of pregnancy. Eating saffron makes your baby fair-skinned. Drink ghee to heal the uterus after birth. You may find the list of myths you hear increase significantly in these nine months. You should act wisely if you are not able to differentiate between a fact and myth and take expert advice if you are asked to act against doctor's treatment, you are made to eat or inhale some medicine or herbal product, you are becoming too sensitive about your or your baby's well-being. Words of wisdom. Before you were conceived, I wanted you. Before you were born, I loved you. Before you were here and are, I would die for you. This is the miracle of mother's love. <laughs>